whole team getting high off sativa. My food's paying like Erin Bedina. If you ain't gang, then you can't get a feature. Yo, 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 it's Overt Flow. What's going on, you guys? How are you guys? Doing today? Yes, I've been watching a lot of Overt Flow videos, and his intro is so damn catchy. But anyway, what is up, do gang? It is your boy, HJD, coming to you today with some crazy ass glitches. Yes, they are so crazy. Now, before we get well and truly stuck into this, I want to give a shout out to the guy you're seeing on the screen now, No Arm Missile. He's a subscriber of mine, and he actually helped me out do this because you do need two people to do this glitch. So his link will be in the top of the description. If you guys could go over, drop him a sub, say HJD sent me or do gang or whatever, that would mean the world to me. But also massive shouts to no game 4321 I believe his channel is. His link will be in the description. His video actually popped up in my recommended doing these crazy glitches. And I thought, holy shit, you guys obviously love the glitches as a lot of the you got <laughs> a lot of the new subscribers actually came from my glitching video. So I thought, why not make a video trying these out and showing you guys? So yeah, I'll do my best to try and explain how to do it because it is pretty confusing. Like I said, you have to have two people and the person who does the glitch can't be the host. That's why we've got no one missile here with us. So before you set up the lobby, the first thing you're gonna wanna make sure you have on is force respawn on disabled and spectating on free. They are the only two settings you need changed and then obviously you can choose the map, set the time limit, blah de blah de blah, but just make sure you have them two things set. So remember, if you're wanting to do the glitch, you have to be in your friend's lobby. You can't be the host because it doesn't work on host. So I try and explain this as best as I can. It's very tricky. You get into the game, you pick SAS, okay? Now you pick your team, just ignore what's on the screen now. I'll show you a better version in a second, right? You pick SAS, here it is. Pick your class, you spawn in. You change your team, go to Spetsnaz, Press B, don't bother picking the class. I know I've done it very quick there, but I will slow it down. And then go back on to change a team. This will then bring you up for the options of Spetsnaz and Spectator. What you wanna do is click Spetsnaz. Then as soon as you've pressed A to click Spetsnaz, you wanna press down and A really quick and it will kind of glitch out and it will show you your creator class weapons. You pick your class, you choose to where to spawn in. You can tell I was a bit shocked there. I didn't know how to do it. And wherever you are on the spectator, your player will spawn. So let's slow it down one sec for you. Right, this is it slowed down as it did take me a couple of tries to master it. So you pick SAS and you pick your class and then you spawn in. You hold X to spawn in if you didn't know and it will spawn you anywhere around the map. And this is the first step. This is when you go into the game. This is what you do. So you'll be spawned in, you change your team now, and you click Spetsnaz. Your person will die, but you don't pick a class. At this point, when you get prompted with that menu, you press B. Then you go back in to change your team. You wanna press A on Spetsnaz and go down really quick to Spectator and press A again. Then you'll be brought up with this screen here. Pick a class, that's fine. If, you, if you've done it correctly, you'll be prompted by this screen. And when you press X on Spectator, you will fall from the sky. That is when you know you do it right. I didn't know at this point in the video, but as soon as you've done that, you can just kill yourself and it will put you into spectator after and you can spawn where you like. You don't have to do it again. So once you get it done right the first time, you're fine for the rest of the game. So this is where I first tested it out. I was flying around in spectator mode. I'm currently in the glitch now. I thought, right, I try it on this wall. Hold X to spawn. Bang. You spawn where you are in spectator. Pretty crazy, right? So I was flying around on Spectator. This is not an old school as well. I was trying to find where to go, where I could spawn in, trying to get some cool spots. And you can literally spawn anywhere you want. Obviously there's barriers on the map. I know there's a way around them, but I'm not sure how to do them. So if you know, comment down below for me and let me know and we can make a dope video on that. But look, this is on normal mode and I'm at this bit. You can go wherever you like in the map. Now the guy in the game with me, Noah Missile, was trying to do it as well and it just wasn't working for him. And we found out that you can't do it as host. You have to be the person who's joined the game and I actually went and hosted the game after, then he could do it. You can't be host, otherwise it won't work. It's a really hard one to explain. When I watched a video on it, I couldn't do it for a while. It took me a couple of tries, but once you get it, you'll, be, you'll, you'll master it. You've got to treat it as if you're clicking on the Spetsnaz team to choose it and you'll hear a little sound when you click it. And as soon as you hear that sound, press down and A again, 
really quick. You'll hear that sound again, but you'll be on the uh, creator class menu. That's how you know you've done it right. And when you click your class, it will put you in spectator mode. So if you want to try uh, this glitch and get some of your friends in a lobby who are completely clueless about it, go and do so because they will be so confused on how you get into some of these glitch spots. What I didn't know at this point here, after you kill yourself, when you're in the glitch, it will just put you back into spectator mode, and then you can go and fly and spawn where you like. As you can see, I'm trying to do the glitch again, which you don't need to do. I didn't need, I didn't know that at the time, so yeah. Once you're in it, just kill yourself with a nade, and then choose a new spot. So I was playing around with it, and I found like some spots on the map where you do it and you spawn in, you can just hit the floor and start walking around, but a lot of the time, I was just stuck in midair. There probably is a way around it, but it probably does make you get stuck in some of the spots where you shouldn't be allowed to get into the map because you can literally get on pretty much every building. There's like a uh, sky barrier limit, but apparently, like I said, you can get above that. I'm not sure how to do so, so if you know, comment down below. But you know what I was trying on Crossfire, the old school classic. You can't move about up there, not that I found anyway, but I went straight up here, spawned myself in and relived the good old glitch that we all know. If you didn't know already, the uh, crossfire glitch that is on the washing machine you jump up, that's actually patched in the remaster. And once you got there on COD 4, you could jump across. There was like an invisible barrier you could walk along and you could get across all the buildings on the left-hand side. So I just spawned myself up there, had a little bit of fun. And yeah, if you went and did this against your friends and they were up there, they would be asked. They'll be paying you, mate. You could be taking £10 charges of how to get up now. I'm obviously joking. But yeah, I played around with a couple of spots on Crossfire. You can't move from what I found. If there's a way where you can do this and then you can move about, then this will probably be the most OP glitch ever. Or if I could somehow implement this into my hide and seek series and I hide, but I'm in a stupid glitch, the players would be so confused. But nonetheless, you can get into some pretty crazy spots using this. Now the next map we tried it on was Pipeline and you can actually move about on this one which is funny enough. This On this roof there was a roof barrier which I'm at now, you couldn't move. But on the um, roof opposite, not the one I'm shooting at now, opposite to this one, you can walk about on top which is pretty good. You saw that tower as well that I was shooting at, if you could get up there that would be ridiculous. So this is the roof opposite, I just landed myself here, spawned in and you can freely walk about all along the top. I did say in one of my old glitching videos that I thought you could get up here, obviously not using this method, but I am literally up here now and you can walk about and you can do whatever you like up there. You can do some mental trick shot if you're into your sniper and get around winning kill. Obviously it has to be a private match actually, so that wouldn't work. But yeah, if any of you watching this video right now um, know how to get out the map or above the roof barrier, and what I mean by roof barrier is like the height limit you can get onto, if that's possible, please comment it down below let me know because we could make some crazy videos exploring around and outside the map if we can get this done. So yeah, if you know, comment down below, let me know. I've said that about three times, but yeah, just trying to get the message through. And that is about it. I will leave you with some of the spots. I think we tried Crash after this one. But if you want me to do other maps, just comment them down below. You're going to have to be commenting on a lot of things because I've said comment them down below about 15 times this video. And yeah. Drop a like on the video boys if you did enjoy, subscribe if you want to become part of the Do Gang. We are so close to 40k, literally like 500 subs off, it is mental. And yeah, I'll see you on the next one, I'll leave you the clips, have a good day.